welcome back if you're already a subscriber. If you're not, I would love if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up if you're really getting value out of this or enjoying it. I hope you are. And also comment below and let me know if you found those pastel uh, baskets with the laser cut uh, daisies on the side because I'm not finding them. I got like two gray ones, but that was all I saw and I hit so many Dollar Trees up on the weekend. So let me know if you guys are finding these and what state you're in. So let's go ahead and jump in because I have the hugest haul ever. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and start with household items first. I picked up some more cleaner. This is the tub and shower shower cleaner from the works and the stuff works wonders. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to include the name in that, but I'm going to put it in here because this thing, it just kind of pours out weird, but it, it works really good. So go ahead and grab a spray bottle and one of these and I'm not going to talk anymore about that. I got some more of these cover-ups because they've been very invaluable lately to me because I, you know, like to like cover up things instead of having to put them into containers when you can. So I got that. Now this is very cool. I found this in the, like the closet organizing section and I have not seen these. It's a space saver hanger. And let me let you see it, what it is. And I'll show you the back too. But I'm also going to take it out so you can see what it looks like. And so it has this hanger that you can put over the hook and then you can hang hangers off of these loops and it saves so much space. So I'm looking forward to trying that and um, I will try to do an overshot if I, if I can in this video of that. So there is that. And then I, this is brand new. I have not seen this. It's a peach slicer by Professionals. And it's like really nicely made. This is no cheap uh, little device, not device. That's not the word. Um, I don't even know. But anyways, so I picked that up. And yeah, this is, and it's in this pretty peach color too. So that's kind of cool. Got that. I also picked up another pizza pan because uh, lately I've been doing two pizzas at a time. And so uh, my old pizza pan uh, has not been uh, working out that great. I think I need to get a new one of those. It's like the um, pizza stone. So I'm going to get another one of those. But these are working out well, you know, just for my Dollar Tree thin crust pizzas I've been buying. And the last item in there is this avocado tool, which I saw someone else post. It's one of the Betty Crocker tools. And so I picked up one of those and I'm anxious to see how that's going to work when I slice an avocado. Yes, so super nice. Okay, so next we are moving on to uh, children's toys and uh, baby items. So, I had to pick these up because I thought they were the cutest thing ever, and I'll try not to um, wear out that word in this video, but it's going to be extra hard right now because I picked up these Disney Baby soft bristled brushes, and they are in a Prince's collection, Prince's brush and comb for baby, but I got them for somebody who I knew would just really enjoy them, and as a collectible even. This is Aurora. Is that not adorable? So that's Aurora. And then here's Belle. So cute. Sorry. And Cinderella. I mean, you can't go wrong with these Disney items. I pick them up every time I can find them. And then here's Ariel. And those were the four that I could find. There may be more, but 
generally speaking, Dollar Tree seems to get things in fours for whatever reason. If you guys like my bee, I love this. Okay, now just moving on to these little collectible figures. We have Minnie and Mickey. We have, um, let me see, they had Daisy and they had Pluto. So let me show you those. Actually, I think there's only 10 of them. Yeah, and I got all 10. And then there is Tigger and Simba. These are so adorable. If you're a Disney collector, you would definitely want to pick these up, put them into one of those uh, see-through uh, display cases, the small ones. And I think you can find those sometimes at Dollar Tree. And then I have uh, one of the Dalmatians and Pluto, not Pluto, sorry, Dumbo. And we did Minnie and Mickey. And then here is... Uh, I forgot her name, but the little cat from the Aristocrats. Marie. That's it. Marie. So, love those. Okay, and then really quick, moving on, I also picked up these um, Paw Patrol. So we got, I'm not going to try and see their names and stuff. Let's just show you what I got. Because I don't want to make this really super long. So I got those two. And these two. Also picked up a couple of these um, Justice League figures for Talon. And we got the Joker. We've got two different Batmans here. The classic blue Batman and then the newer, more like from the comic strip, I guess. I think I, I'm probably wrong. Somebody can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe in the comics, maybe he was with the black. And then let's go ahead and get to these spring uh, garden items. And I thought this was just unbelievably adorable. This little bumblebee. That's uh, a garden sign. How adorable is this look at him and I will probably do something with this it will be DIY but yeah it's from their garden collection and I also picked up a bunch of these um, little uh, lights LED lights these are LED spring lights and these ones are leaves let me just show you real quick so I haven't plug them in yet to see what they look like but maybe I'll share an overshot of that so there's those ones and they were pretty picked over so I just grabbed whatever they had I also picked up two packages of these I think they call these ones fairy lights silver wire LED lights well I call them fairy lights how about that those ones so yeah those you guys know what those look like and then I found this really, really pretty, this wasn't in the garden section, but I found it in the like, gift bags and gift boxes, but I found this really pretty uh, flower spring gift box. So that's how big it is. But I just loved the print on it. I thought it was really pretty. And it has like this um, 3D flower on the top. So pick that up and pick up some more succulents because I'm going to do another uh, succulent garden, like a bigger one. So I got some of these really pretty new colors they have. And they're like, they have these long stems for you to put them in to your arrangement. So they have these long stems. Yeah. This one's sort of a yellow, a beige, lavender. There is a really pretty like blue in here and I, I saw that some blue uh, succulents in some of these other colors in Target in a little pot and they were expensive like not a dollar. I got this one because I love these and I also picked up this um, potted one which I already have that one I think somewhere but I just grabbed it because I'm trying to collect as many as I can find. 
picked up this pretty like goldish yellow uh, planter and that'll probably be some type of floral arrangement so that is that okay fun random things that I picked up the puzzle I've been searching for since the holidays I finally completed my set with flash dance yay finally so this one was really important to me because I'm a dancer, dance teacher, and I wanted this one so bad. One of my favorite 80s movies. So I got that. And I mean, some of you might know what this is, but most of you will probably not know. But my daughter has always been obsessed with these, uh, these two guys because she thinks they're so funny. And it's Tim and Eric and Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie. So I got that for her. But yeah, there's that. And um some pans that i'm going to put with a birthday gift that goes with a planner so i haven't used them before so hopefully they're good they are super glide fashion pens and they are by cello i guess so there's that and i finally found these really adorable uh glass cases and they're very valentine's inspired but I would definitely use them year round. And I also got this one. Not upside down. So those are really cute and I'm glad I found them. Um, I picked up one of these um, shoe erasers because I saw last night on uh, But First Coffee, I saw her uh, reviewing it and it looks like it works really well. So I'm gonna try that on my sneakers. I also picked up this container and I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I just thought it was cute. So yeah, I'm going to definitely use this one. Now I have this color on. So I picked up a few makeup items that I've been looking for and I finally found them in my Dollar Tree and it's by Wet n Wild and it's called Liquid Catsuit. And this color is chic i think it's chic got real or something like that yeah so that's kind of a silly name but um it's by wet and wild and i have that color on so i don't even have to swatch it what do you guys think it's pretty it's kind of pretty pink i also picked up this um one step um gel so it's also by wet and wild and it's in a really pretty color and they have these little plastic handles on them. I thought that was kind of cute. Of course they come off when you pull the packaging off. And then I went ahead and picked up uh, this razor because even for a dollar, this is a good razor. I like these ones. So I got one of those and I did find one of those baskets or two of those baskets. I have another one but of these pretty daisy cut storage bins, but that was the only size and there were only two left on the shelf. So I don't know if somebody just came in and bought all of them or what happened, but this is all of the Easter stuff that I picked up. And you guys, seriously, it was really hard for me to just stop at what I got because there was so much stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with these little um, styrofoam bunnies that can be painted. They can be put on a wreath. I mean, they can be any color you want. So nice for crafting. I love them. So that's that. How pretty is this? And if you don't use it as a towel, you can make it into a throw pillow, decor pillow for your sofa love seat a nice chair you have or like i said you can just use it as a dish towel hang it in the kitchen so i grabbed some of these speckled eggs because i want to use those in some type of diy maybe in a tiered basket or something tiered basket <laughs> tiered tray sorry guys I'm tired um i thought this was really super cool to use for a um, DIY project. It's a nice form. Um, once I take the tags off, this will fit nicely onto there, but 
yeah, it's pretty good size too. So I was thinking maybe of doing some paper mache or something with the Mod Podge. I know there's lots of different things that could be done to this. It could even be used as a Easter succulent garden in the egg shape. So I may end up going back for more of those. These are so precious, but you've got the little um, Easter, I guess it's a duck, chick. I'm sorry, it's a chick. <laughs> And they're made out of metal, so they're like a little metal sculpture. So I got that one, and I got this little bunny. Adorable. Yes, I got some uh, Easter spring ribbons, the nice wide ones. And these ones have uh, three yards. Yes. And that one's got flowers, and this one's a pretty, like, plaid sort of print. Yeah. I got this little hanging thing, and I'm going to um, probably cut these off. Well, I'm going to cut these off and use them in another DIY. It's one of those long hanging type of signs and it's just got these pretty little spring pictures on it. Yeah. So there's that. I got this. It was the only one, literally the only one that I found. So I picked it up. It's pink. It's got a yellow ribbon through it and I will probably use it in a DIY or a gift, Easter gift. So Easter basket. And I got this, which I'm going to be um, deconstructing and I will turn this into probably some type of floral wall type decor. But it's a, it's got this form that you can take this stuff off because I don't really like that. But um, yeah, and I may just use this color pattern, though, for my floral. Speaking of floral, there's a lot of floral here. You guys, I picked up so much. These lip, I think they're Easter lilies, yes. And they're really pretty. I mean, for a dollar, and for Dollar Tree, I mean, like I told you before, they're stepping up their floral game. Grabbed a couple of those because I had already bought some um, other ones from... Walmart, which I'll share. So I've got those and these beautiful yellow roses that look, you know, super real because they did that ombre thing in the silk so that it looks, I don't even know if this is silk, but they're pretty. That's the point. So I got um, a few different sets of those and I also picked up these Easter picks, which don't look real, but I don't think they're supposed to look real. So, but they were really cute. So there's those and they come with a little fern and some other little flowers in there and an Easter lily in pink. And these ones are cute too with the like bluish daisy, Gerber daisy. So I got that. This one has a little egg, like a little styrofoam egg on it. And then this is called onion grass. And I've never seen that before at Dollar Tree. So it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then I picked up these, what are these called? These are called blooming branches. And I thought those were really nice. And they look pretty real. I think they do for a dollar. Also grabbed a bag of the uh, floral moss. I already had grabbed one bag, but this one seems to have like more in it. And it's just sort of like basic. The other one has some other things in it. I don't even know what, like some dried flowers and stuff. Also grabbed this fern. And again, you don't see these too often. So, I mean, it's not the realest looking fern, but 
you know, in an arrangement, like mixed in, like small pieces, it'll look great. Um, and then these, I have, have not found these. I have the small ones, but I love these. And they're like, um, they've got like twine wrapped around them for this really pretty pattern. And those are going to look super nice in a arrangement or maybe on a wreath or something. So I grabbed the only two packages they had. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed more because I had thought this would look really cute. Um, you know, sitting in a, like a little round glass dish or something, like a bunch of them for the table. I grabbed these um, wall decals. It says wall creations, but they had these sunflower ones that I haven't seen. And I have a whole collection of these type of stickers. It's just really nice. It's got some uh, little bees in there. And this will be really nice on a wall um, DIY, wall decor. And these, okay, so the little eyelashes I know are unicorn eyelashes. But, you know, I've been seeing these um, planters at Target and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff with the eyelashes on them. And I think that that might be a cute idea. Whatever's left over, there's flowers. On this side, there's a unicorn horn, of course, and I'll probably give that away to somebody who I know loves unicorns. But look at all the little flowers and stuff on here. And there's the unicorn's ears. So I got those. Okay, now this is a really cute uh, piece of wall decor. Generally speaking, I always say I'm going to like deconstruct this and do something with it. But I don't know. It's it's kind of cute because they tried to do like the farmhouse thing with it, with the shiplock and the distressing and the burlap banner and it's actually <laughs> it's really cute on its own maybe i could put some embellishments maybe some flowers or something in there uh or some i don't know a little piece of the fern something and i think this would be really cute hanging on the wall still um and then i picked up this one because i was thinking this one i would deconstruct as well but the little sign things are cute. I'll probably take those and um, either take them apart or just use them somehow in upcycling this. So that was a nice one. The last item that's in our Easter category, although it's considered spring, are the spring stickers. And I could not find any more. I looked all through the stickers and I didn't see any more of these, so I just grabbed this one, but I would love to have more because I think they're really beautiful. So there's those. Okay, heading into the final category, and this is all stuff that I'm going to hack or DIY or use in a DIY. So um, I got this frame with a dinosaur, and I'm just going to deconstruct this and use it for another DIY but it has this nice kind of wood and it's like wood not like you know a sticker so even smells like wood so I got that and then um I got this to use and you will see I'm not even gonna get into it right now but I'm sure you've seen some DIYs with these mop heads so I've been picking those up and I like that one with the gray in it I bought this beanie, and it's actually a Snugadoo beanie. I didn't particularly care for the colors they had in them, or I would have probably bought one to actually wear, because as you can see, I, I do like beanies. But this one, uh, because it's green, um, and it's not like that classic St. Patty's green, but I think it would be cute on or in a gnome project for St. Patty's Day. So be looking for that this little i have one that i'm going to use for my floor but this one i saw in a couple of diys and i think it would be cute for the gnome's beard i do have like the long furry stuff that you know looks more like a beard but i thought this is kind of cute too and so i'm going to use that um i picked up two of these in this gray color they're the bath rugs and that one's not going to be used as a bath rug and no it's not going to be used for a pillow so you'll see what I'm going to use this for 
stay tuned for that. You're going to love it. And then I grabbed a bunch of these multiples of these uh, paper towel holders because there's all kinds of hacks that you can do with these and I'm sure you guys have seen those on other channels so um, yeah stay tuned for that and more of these napkin napkin holders and I know what I'm doing with those I got four of those let me show you up close just in case you haven't seen them but they're in the kitchen aisle on the kitchen aisle so and there's all kinds of amazing uh hacks to do with these so like those i grabbed these over the door towel racks that's what they're called yeah over the over the cabinet towel bar sorry but I'm going to be using them for something else because they have a really nice, like, stainless steel, brushed stainless steel handle on them. And I think I might use them on a tray because so I picked up this really nice tray at Walmart. And I just foresee a really amazing uh, DIY coming out of that. I have so much stuff coming up that I want to share. Trying not to ramble on here. And I bought, I'm just going to pull one out, but I bought a whole bunch of these because I haven't been able to find them. And they're super heavy duty trays. And there's many different things you can do with these. Um, they can turn into wall art. They can be just trays. And yeah, so I'll let you know what happens with these. A few more craft items. And I bought this uh, brush pencil and brush organizer. So I think that's going to come in handy for my craft organization. So I'm going to put that together today and get all my stuff in there and see how it works. And I'll let you know on that because I haven't seen anybody talk about those. But yeah, crafter's corner. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why do I keep calling it crafter's corner? It's not crafter's corner. It's crafter's square. Crafter's square. So I got that. I found some of these that I've been looking for for a while and I'd like to use these uh, to do like a doormat as a doormat stencil. Also maybe in another banner or something, Valentine's banner, because I told somebody I was, a couple of people I was going to make them banners and these will come in handy. You can just cut them apart. And then the last few items. I grabbed these because I have not seen these. These are um, from the Floral Garden. They're chalkboard woods uh, stakes. I was going to say signs. So I haven't seen those. And they don't have to stay on that stick if you don't want them to. But yeah, I found those. And I got these ones, which I've had before, but I went ahead and picked up some more because I think these look really nice on projects crafts DIYs and I hope I didn't miss anything I know I tried to rush through the last few but I just bought this uh, stencil wheel because it has all these really pretty leaves on it and yeah there's a bunch of different ones it's kind of hard to see them with this on there but you can kind of see them so yeah I foresee a lot of nice DIYs with this stencil as well. And you guys, that is it for today. I did have a lot of other extra items from TJ Maxx, uh, Five Below, and Walmart, but I think I'm going to put those into its own um, haul because I don't want this to be super, super long. But thank you so much for coming today and joining me in this haul. I hope that you uh, have discovered some great things that you can go and look for, go on the hunt. And remember, I did not find all these things at one Dollar Tree. So I know sometimes people are like, I am not seeing all of this stuff at my Dollar Tree. Well, you have to go on a Dollar Tree excursion for the day and just map it out and, and find out and yelp it and find out which Dollar Trees are really good Dollar Trees because usually these really small ones uh, don't carry a lot of stuff. It's very limited. So you, you want to find the really big dollar trees. 
I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.